On behalf of the island government, I acknowledge that the care system that operated historically in Jersey failed some children in the state's residential care in a serious way. And such abuse has now been confirmed by the criminal cases that have been before Jersey's courts. So to all those who suffered abuse, whether confirmed by criminal conviction or not, the island's government offers its unreserved apology. Gordon Claude Wateridge, guilty of indecent assaults on young girls at Haute de la Garen. Claude Donnelly, guilty of rape, indecent assault and procuring an act of gross indecency. Michael Obin, guilty of the sodomy of a young boy and indecent assault of two more. Ronald Thorne, guilty of gross indecency with a young boy. Leonard Miles Vandenborn, guilty of rape and 12 counts of indecent assault. And Morag and Anthony Jordan, guilty of 16 counts of common assault against children in their care. With the Jordans awaiting sentencing, for now at least, that marks the end of the historic child abuse investigation. That's why, for the first time today, the Chief Minister offered an unreserved apology, not just to the victims who went through the court system, but to all those whose abuse was never confirmed by a criminal conviction. Kerry Modrill is chair of the Jersey Care Leavers Association. She says for an apology that so many have waited so long for, it does little to acknowledge the pain of those who were abused. It showed no compassion. It had no depth to it whatsoever. Um, th there should have been at least a paragraph um, uh, offering the apologies to the, to the survivors for the abuse that they suffered all those years as children and how they've had to live with it throughout their lives. Um, it, it almost felt as though it was written by a civil servant, um, being very careful and choosing his or her words. No more people may be charged with abuse as a result of the child abuse investigation, but despite the Chief Minister's words, that doesn't mean there'll be no more court cases. Several of the victims still intend to take the states of Jersey to court to try and claim compensation for the abuse they suffered while in its care.